We went spearfishing in the afternoon and from my spear the first fish all hell broke loose Two bull shark chase us almost to shore The weather wasn't so bad, so Karandi and I decided that we were going to do a evening dive. We came back to the same location from the previous dive. The water wasn't clean as before, but it was okay. It was in the evening, so we didn't linger. Water was clean, it wasn't too bad. The current was going down the sea as well, so we drifted it. This area, in the afternoon, we always see a lot of fish. Karandi was chasing something there. I think it was a jack. This was my first deep dive. This was at 55 feet. I was after a mutton snapper, but it head for the deep. And next mountain snapper, still no chance. This is a chub spot, quite a few of them was out. Chubs pay me no mind, they were all over me, but I was watching some horse side jack over in the blue, but they weren't coming in close though. Randy was telling me to shoot one of the chub here. I wasn't after chubs. He went down and spear a lovely one.
Sarandi dive on a barracuda but he didn't get a shot I saw where it went so I dive and got a clear shot on it Could see one deer swam from out of the rock I took her and this gun and I head to look for it. I didn't bother to dive though because Karandi was taking too long to pull in the one that I just speared and I didn't want it to slip off the spear. And from my spear this barracuda, two bull shark wouldn't leave us alone. You can see this one after my barracuda. And from the previous dive, I mistook them for Caribbean reef sharks. I couldn't see them properly, the water wasn't clean. But now we have some better visibility, so I was able to make them out. I recognize them from the shape. They are more stout and have the hump back. Karandi made a dive there on a rainbow runner. He didn't know that the sharks were close. There goes one, circle circling. They were staring wide in the hurlies, so we paid them less attention. So right here, I was checking for the barracuda that swam out the rock. On the way back to the surface, I realized that one of them was coming in close to the barracuda and my boy. So I swam over to defend my fish. The shark saw me coming and charged at me. They were acting aggressive. You 
and see it here again made a next charge. So this is when that we decide to head up the sea and leave that area. I came across a next barracuda, I couldn't resist, I made a dive on it. I spear it, but this spear didn't penetrate. I lost that one. I was preparing to dive on a gold tail, and one mine cell looked to your left. The sharks again, very close. So this time we head for a land for good. We didn't bother to take any other chances. Even after we were going through the reef, the sharks were still chasing us. the reef then chill you we give thanks to you know two caribbean reef shark and more than two out there cause a two small one that we see and um we see bigger one to the two but them stay at the bottom so it was still nevertheless we get a, a, a local small catch up the final and para and para and the final and chill See them, yeah? This is the chub, nice chub here. Yeah. Go around the shoot. Go around the shot, that chub here. Yeah. Lovely. This is the barra here. Yeah. Look one barra. And then at the last side of the people, we start to see the barra them, you know. Yeah, man, we start to see the barra them, man. The shot get aggressive. The shot they get wicked from we out there. Eh. Yeah, man, the shot they don't give it no break. I said the shark is not giving no break at all, none whatsoever. That's not the last time I'm going to make out them. It's one nice gold tail, and I say, Alright, I dive down and, and the way. One mind said, Look to your left, shark left on the barra, the right side of me. Around the side of the shark, we never hear. And I said, We left them down the water. And they clean up the two fish. And the barrima finish up this so, you know. Two local fish chop this so. Two nice fish today, you know, we give a lot of thanks, you know. Yeah, we make it back safe. Yeah, Cause what I see I'm not joking man. We still find two good fish. You know, the previous dive we get a well nice catch. This catch is nice also. And show the barrack. Come on, so we are going to left the seaside, you know, you know. Because I'm in the evening, you know, you know. No say about after five, you know. Late. Mm. 5.20. 5.20. 
Vediamo, lì è tutto guardato, no? E lo pile che stai per me a fare. Sha di e tu dei, so mi ha fatto il tuo disabile, sha di. So mi ha fatto il pile. Okay. So you know we change off. I oh, feel like more we are the one barrel, you know? I oh, know how much a barrel we are, so I will get my scale and put it in pan. That's how much it is, you know? I will go and feed my bucket. Two fish in the bucket. Not much today. Come on, so, you know? Turn on the scale, make sure it's zero. Who kit in the bar again? So much low and bar I wait today. That's a four pound car and they are a two pound. But me know this car we a two pound. Four pound a bar. Mm? Three pint eight four, so that's a four pound. Mm. Not four pound that man. And we scale, we have a county scale and it got you know. We're in half and we may have put in. Nice, we could in a one list, you know. And I go cut up nicely when we go home and do a look cook up with it. And as I mentioned, I do a look cook up. I say it make you do a look cook in a piece of the barracuda, you know. Come on, so stay tuned for that. Don't go nowhere at all. Uh, so we reach in the kitchen here yeah, and I go slice up a one barrel here. Yeah. As I said, the, the, the fish in the previous dive, the big mackerel, eh? uh, the one they let get Lego. But this of is still here yeah, yeah, with me. Yeah. I slice him up in uh, some slices, you know. Just put on a sharp meat and the knife. Yeah, man. So much slice me get out of here. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So we have one little. This red barrel well cut up and the head also included in this. It's not a big barrel, it's a four pound one. You guys see when me weigh him, so I get quite a few thin slices. Slice them real thin. And we decide that we are going to look a little sweet and sour. Yeah, because that's one of my favorite way if you really cook barrel, you know, sweet and sour. Barrel. Do well with sweet and so on, man. Everybody know when no a barra so barra do well with a lot of things. So we want to try a little sweet and so on. I try, cause we do it all the time. We are gonna do a little sweet and so on, barracuda. Yes, man. So I'm gonna put a red rest in the fridge and left where we are gonna cook. People, we have what? Six pieces of barra, six of the slice. You don't know, sir. I'm going to sweet and sour these right away. So, we're going to sweet and sour these right away, you know? Yeah, man. Them seasoned up already. So, I'm going to start the, the, the cooking. Start dropping the barracudas. You know? Number one fish, barracuda. Barracuda them fry, the barracuda slices them fry nicely. So the sauce you get a pepper or so no? With the sweet and sour. Yeah? Yeah man, looking good you know.
So the sweet and sour sauce, yeah. Looking good, so we're already in the barracudas now. Why too short? I need to wander one bar, I'm gonna put it in there. So if you can call this with this done, you do a shear out, you know. So I eat this, you know. Two slices of bar of banana, yeah, man, dumpling. Yeah, man. So let's see what I'm going for this, you know. So once more, my people, a lot of praises, give thanks, you know. Yeah, man. So. Remember, just like up and share up the video. See you when I do see you guys in the next one. Alright?